when someone is baptized, it's more for them to realize that we go down one way and we come up another way. We come up uh, revived, we come up clean, you know, just like what water would do. You know, that's what that did for her. The area they brought me in was something like this, except it was a lot of bushes on both sides. There was no fence or anything over there. And when they parked in the yard, they, they pulled up this way. I was in the back seat and they came in the car from this side. But one of them stayed up because when, when they picked up the other two, one of them got on that side behind me. I was on this side. And when they got ready to assault me, the one on this side pulled me back and the other ones took my clothes off, my, 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 took my panties off. Matter of fact, they did not take my skirt off. Um, I'm sorry guys, give me a minute. I don't want to put the best feet forward. When it was done, <laughs> they got back in the car like it was nothing. They got back in the car like I was laying there a piece of meat. I'm 17 years old and three months. And when they let me out the car, they, they pulled in off of 28th Street on the wrong side. And I had my little purse and, my, and, <laughs> and I was getting out and a woman caught my hand. And he pushed my panties back in my hand. And he said, if you tell, we'll kill you. And without turning around, I said, I'm already dead. I never looked back. I can't tell you which way they went, but I saw that telephone booth. It's right here. And it was one of those glass ones where you pull it out. Mama always told us to keep money on us for phone calls. Well. It's an amazing because that little money I put in that phone didn't come out my bra and I call the police. And for me, it ended here. She was a totally, totally different person. She was very withdrawn. She didn't have any friends. She didn't want any friends. She didn't want to go back to school. She didn't want to get her education. She didn't want any boyfriends. After this happened to her, she took a bottle of aspirins, a whole bottle, and tried to kill herself. Mom took her to the hospital and had her stomach pumped and brought her home and sent her to New York City with my oldest sister, Virginia. She was robbed of her innocence. She was robbed of her self-confidence. She was robbed of being Evelyn at the time. She was just simply robbed. No one can ever give that back to her. Not even the men, they can't give that back to her. So she's been fighting this for a long time, which I can't even fathom. I, don't, I, I can't. But for some, for her to open up about this after so many years ago is, I want to say, it's freeing to her. Because the longer you hold on to issues like that, the, 
the more you're not able to move. And I believe that was the issue. She wasn't able to move in the direction that she know that she could. And I believe in place of the support, I believe God gave her five children that she could love and raise and teach. Uh, she, she says it all the time, and I'm trying not to tear up. <laughs> but she says it all the time. She says, you know, you guys are, are just a blessing. You're just a blessing. I always thought the worst thing that happened to me was no counseling. But you know what? It is. It's, it's a terrible thing. I lost my self-worth. As a matter of fact, my self-worth never even developed. I began to take, because they wouldn't take it for themselves, I began to take the shame, the embarrassment, the degradation, the humiliation from them, from my family, from my mom, who could not understand the nature of what was done to her daughter. 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, almost 50 years, look at me. And this is the strongest I've ever been in my life. I've always felt like everybody cursed that 17 year old inside of me. Everybody walked away from her. They were horrified about what happened to her. Well, you know what? That's me. And guess what? That little 17 year old girl, she's sitting right in here in me. And you may not want to embrace her, but I embrace her. I love her. No means no. You didn't deserve it. And you don't deserve to live in shame. If anybody deserves to live in shame, they do, not you. Please, please get help. You're worth it.